here's how I thought everyone in the 80s did a theme song. They go into a studio. All right, Tom, let me play you a little something on the guitar. Snort a line of Coke. Fucking hammer the guitar. Did that sound good? Yep, loop it. All right, we're good. Sometimes you want to show where it's just okay to drink, where you were allowed to drink, where there's like a, a blowhard mailman who knows everything but doesn't really, where there's sexual tension between the owner and the hot waitress. Then the hot waitress leaves and Kirstie Alley replaces her because Kirstie Alley had to do TV because she asked for too much money to do Star Trek Search for Spock, all those things. Sometimes you want to show like that. <laughs> and now she's for Weight Watchers. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I listen to that theme song and uh, I feel like if it was sandwiched in between like a, like a Harry, Harry Connick and maybe like a Christina Aguilera on the radio, I would forget all three of them equally. <laughs> the best theme song. <laughs> Period. Will Smith. Is the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> the Fresh Prince of Bel Air is the best theme song, period. Will, Will Smith is just a creative genius. Will Smith needs to be at the forefront of the television jingle establishment society of America uh, and create 90% of the television theme songs for the rest of time because he makes better theme songs than big corporations do. Um, <laughs> He could probably change up the uh, "In the Arms of the Angel" song, that the uh, animal crowd, that annoying ass fucking song. Yeah, and probably make it a banger. <laughs> my well, one of my favorite fucking picnic side dishes is pork and beans with bacon and simonin. Simonin? Yeah, it's simonin. My favorite yeah, comedian, Sibnad. She's a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the stage, synonym. <laughs> you gotta render down the bacon. Render it down. Then put the you know, then put the bacon in with the little a little bit of bacon grease and add a simmer in there, get it mixed up, start to start simmering, get all the all the got aroma going all up in your house. Man. Yeah, oh boy. It, it's amazing before you even start eating it. CJ needs to delicious. change his underwear. <laughs> right? He, he had an orgasm. Jesus. He's over there. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we're talking about them beans. Hey, and bacon, bitch. <laughs> yeah, we talking about food over here. Oh, you mean DeAndre's yeah. spirit animal? No, that's no, my spirit animal. animal. That's my spirit animal. DeAndre but loves bacon. bacon. Yeah, right. but bacon is hard. My pick is baked mac and cheese. Baked mac and, che mac and cheese. Uh, certain. Let me, let me let me rephrase that. Certain people's baked mac and cheese. <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta make sure. That I was gonna get you on that one. I was gonna <laughs> certain, get you on that one, player. Certain people's baked mac and cheese. Now I was, I don't remember I told the story on here, but I'm gonna say the story again. Uh, a coworker of mine uh, made potato salad, and I always do this test with potato salad and mac and cheese. So so uh, she made this potato salad, and she put it in the container for me. And I always put it upside down to make sure it doesn't move so, too fast. <laughs> uh, and they put, they, they put it back. And then she asked me, she asked me, why do you do that? I said, because, because some people make these watery soup that they call potato salad or this watery soup they call Big Mac and cheese. And it's fucking disgusting. So again, so again, it's certain people's Big Mac and cheese. And quite frankly, Big Mama's uh, if you got a big mama in your life, a, a, a black grandma in your life, uh, yeah, her big mac and cheese, cause that shit will be fire. I don't know what they, what kind of love and affection they put in their big mac, big mac and cheese, but this shit is delicious. My my experience with this is when I was uh, in high school back in Ohio, I went to a picnic one of my friends, uh, and. His mom made some of this, and it was really outstanding. And I ate most of it, and I never got to the burgers. So <laughs> <laughs> all I can say is that if it's too good, it's not good. <laughs> but I'll eat. It's just like with me and steak. I'll eat any kind of mac and cheese, even if it's bad. I'll suffer and eat it. I don't give a shit. It's good. No way to hell. Oh yeah, you can't oh, be picky, man. Beggar, beggars can't be choosers, my friend. I'm hungry. Right. I need it in my belly. Hmm. That's why I'm two ninety seven, Dre. Uh, so listen, I, I'm sorry for you, but listen, if, if you give me macaroni soup, I'm not eating that at all. No, no way nope. up. I'll use a slotted spoon. Oh, that's that's disgusting. <laughs> Some of you come from um, ethnical backgrounds where more care is put into the creation of the cornbread. 
Mm-hmm. I am consistently receiving the cornbread that is in the bottom third there. Um, <laughs> oh, and by the way, emo bands, name your song something meaningful. It's not cute. It's stupid. All right, CK. <laughs> First off, I, I'm one of those people who thinks Tupac's still alive somewhere. Uh, I'm, I'm just no, being honest. No, to be to be a perfect album, you need to like like literally go through track one to track where, well in this case track a hundred. Uh and <laughs> <laughs> this is the best album when you're high and when you're Damn. not. Damn, I was gonna say that. There are so few I was so gonna jump on that. <laughs> there are so few albums that work for both. And it was an actual album. And it had a black cover and a prism and it's Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. So if you wanted to get crazy you could even just put side two on first and play money and really get things going. And then when everybody's passed out from being high, time would come on with all the alarms and then they'd wake everybody up again. Plus, it's actually a story, like an old school concept album. There's themes, there's life and death, there's the price of fame, there's what is it to have everything you want and be unfulfilled and all of those things. Plus, did I mention it's a really great album if you're high? <laughs> so I, I talked to uh, David Foster, who runs the Mad Poker League in in Portland, Oregon, and largest Mad Poker League or largest free poker league in Oregon. Yes, it is. Shout and, out Mad uh, Poker. Shout out. DJ, show him that shirt. Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, yeah, Mad Poker. Right. And shout, yeah. Out to, shout out to fucking Marianne Dave Foster. Yeah. So we uh so, so we we were talking about uh about, about this, and I said, damn. But then he said. I'm surprised you picked Michael Jackson. And I was like, what the fuck is wrong with me? I didn't pick Thriller. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like, like what? Uh, listen, so as soon as, as soon as he said that, I, I, I wrote y'all, like, listen, I'm taking my answer. <laughs> I'm taking my answer to Thriller. Because yeah. there's, there's nothing like I can do about that. Thriller is fucking amazing. This is your boy CJ, AKA Smooth Nuts. Yeah, I'm back again to unfortunately be your permanent moderator because I know you love Joe so much. So I'll be sure to honor him by always going hi friends and the first topic is the worst kind of person to date cj (laughs) (laughs) fuck you i feel like a retired hoe is the most difficult kind of person to date um for a plethora of reasons one being some people not everyone cares about body count that that's a disturbing thing even if it's not the body count the potential for stds relapsing into wholeness whole behaviors like they're not (laughs) used to being in relationships so there's little whole behaviors that they don't realize they've held held on to behaviors you guys are out in public and they're looking around for no reason at all because they're so used to having to watch their backs and not get caught because they're a hoe. Like, there's just so many. Um, this is going to shock a lot of people. When, and Eric's my say it, people get shocked as hell. Oh, my I, God. I, he I used to be a hoe. Oh, no, no. Not, everybody, everybody, knows that. Everybody, everybody knows that. I could care less about body count unless it, it will damage my, d- damage my body. Uh, that's the only time I care about body count. The this, only numbers I care about are S, T, and D. Uh, that, that, those are letters. No shit. <laughs> oh my God. I swear to Jesus. I swear to the Lord Almighty, Dre. But would you date like a Black China, Kim Kardashian type chick out of the curiosity? I just want to know. Would I date somebody that you've seen suck a dick? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I would. I would date. Here's the thing. I would date a a, a retired porn star. Yep. Like, yep. I would date. You seen their resume? You know what they do. <laughs> I would date somebody that I've seen suck a dick before. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know she can do a good job. Because here, here's God the thing. Damn it. Cause, cause, that sex tape was not good. See. <laughs> I would date somebody <laughs> that I've seen suck a dick before. I mean, or or fuck before. Uh, because here's the thing. I know for a fact, me being almost thirty two in a couple in a couple weeks, that I know for a fact Ooh. that I won't not. I, I, there won't be any virgins out there. Somebody had to fuck you if, 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 if you if you if you come with me. All right. So so I mean, now I know what you can do. I mean, 
<laughs> <laughs> me personally, I don't care about who a person was before they met me. Kind of like what Dre said, but there will always be that one thing stuck in the back of my head. Am I not the best sex you ever had? Wow. Because I, I know, <laughs> I listen, listen, let's get 100% real. I know my dick game. I know I'm like middle, okay? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I, just want, I just want you to know this is some heavy stuff to drop hey. on my first, like, hey. so, like hey. listen. Welcome to Versus. Oh, when I was younger, I made the mistake of asking the shake, like, oh, what's the biggest dick she ever had? And she told me, you know, and I wish I had never asked. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, this is wrong. Men really need to be lied to. Uh, some specifically... Oh, oh, what? Let me finish. <laughs> some men specifically ask women to lie to them. So yeah, well, to say that that's the worst category is not making sense across the board. And this is going to be something that may make more sense to the women followers. But I literally dated someone who said, no, nah, don't tell me that shit. So, like, sometimes you guys do want to be lied to. The great, great philosopher, uh, Chris Rock, that said, said, men, yes, men tell the most lies. That's 100% true. Men will lie if they ask for the bullshit reasons. I, I, I will, it, it's true. Women tell the biggest lies. The biggest lies. Men's lies. A man's lies like, yeah, I was at drum house last night. A woman's lies is that's your baby. So, <laughs> so, yeah. so, so, uh, so, 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 what so, the I, fuck? I, I just want clarification. Did you relate her wearing wigs to lying to you? <laughs> no, 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 no. She wear. No, no, she. Related her her wicks line to me. She said she said she said she said exactly what you said. She said some men want people to grow loud. That's why they get fake nails, fake hairs, fake asses, fake boobs, all that kind of good stuff. They, they want it. Men want want that. They want them to lie to them. And that's why she started wearing wigs. I ain't want it now. I don't need all that. I don't feel like her phrasing it that way makes any sense. Um, because even if my lashes go from here to my eyebrows, I'm pretty sure you're fucking aware I wasn't born like that. And I'm pretty sure you know I wasn't born with a palm tree on my fucking finger. <laughs> on, the, on the rare occasions I seen her without her wigs. Literally, her, when, when a wig came off, the, the scarf came on. There was no, I, the, the wig came off, that scarf came right, it was like, it was, it was swift too. Like, it, it was some, some niggas. <laughs> <laughs> <It was, laughs> so here's the thing, if you're in a relationship with me, I don't mind paying for damn near everything. And then that's kind of true. Dinner, bills, rent, whatever. I don't mind paying for it. DeAndre DM about to blow up. All <laughs> in. <laughs> that's what being clingy is. If you, if you are right there on my hip pocket every single fucking minute, hour, day right there, give me something to miss. Give me something to talk to talk about. Yep. You, if you, if you, if you right here in my hip pocket, do you know everything I know? So I can't tell you what, what, how my day was. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you knew you was there. And I think that whole cracker example just shows that after a while, after giving someone something that they appreciated, they're ungrateful as fuck. Okay. <laughs> 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 you don't appreciate this motherfucker. <laughs> You ain't got shit else, and you were starving otherwise. It's been a month, nigga, a month. <laughs> I've never had Burger Bill. It's she not lives. Old. She lives on the East Coast. Like East Coast. I live on. I live on. Yeah, no Burger Bill East Coast. It's a. It's a Northwest thing. Oh, I'm never. Oh, never living there. Yeah, just like just like there's no checkers out here. Oh, so pissed off with no checkers. Like, you got to never have checkers. However, checkers fries are ah, like oh, checkers fries. So fucking. Stop, <laughs> doing, that. Stop doing this motion. Stop doing this motion. Stop doing this motion. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, yeah that's when we start recording. It just makes me think of which I think you would do for a contact bar. So, um, <laughs> I've actually had this nasty ass burger. Uh, and it gave me the bubble guts. It does. It, it gave me the bubble guts. And once you fool me once, shame on me. 
You never fooled me again. Fuck that. I, I'm not eating that <laughs> <laughs> DeAndre, you asked, who the fuck is eating fast food all the damn time? Let me tell you how my day starts. I wake up. <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning, fall back asleep, alarm 3.15, fall back asleep, alarm 3.30, fall back asleep, on and on until 4. I get up at 4, I leave the house, McDonald's, sausage egg muffin, orange juice, go to work, lunchtime, Taco Bell, two beefy five layers, orange juice, come back, dinner time, probably another fast food place, I had Wingstop tonight, so <laughs> I eat a lot of fast food, that's why I'm 300 pounds, I need to stop, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna. This is this is. I, I have to go off on a tangent. So I have an. I have a budget app that I that I use all the time. <laughs> right? And it's probably like <laughs> your shit is broke. <laughs> if, if, if I go, if I go to just July alone, July alone, the bills I've paid this month are nine hundred forty-seven dollars. The eating out alone nine hundred forty-five. Yeah. How you eat up more than your rent, bro? <laughs> Discard me to eat anything, any McDonald's in Philly before, okay? So this quick story. Me and my two friends, we, we played basketball at World Gym in Philly. And I, I, I decided to take them both home. And my friend said, listen, if you take me to McDonald's, I will pay for you both. Give in the you want. So I decided to go to McDonald's in Germantown in PA, in, in Philly. And we go to, we go to, we drive through the drive-thru. And he's in the back seat, and he's making jokes at the lady, like "Let me get a taco, let me get some pizza," like like playing with their food, right? So, oh, somebody got the spit burger, huh? So, <laughs> for real, we ordered, the, we ordered the food. We ordered the food, right? We give him the e way, right? Me and my friend that, that, that's sitting next to me, we don't eat our burgers yet. He eats his burger. All you hear is "eh, eh, eh." When I say it was that green. Spit, like hawk spit, like, 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 like it was like, oh. it, it, it spit in his in his burger. It was that and shit. I dumped. Listen, I, 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 I'm, I'm like polluting anything like that, but I dumped that shit out out, out my car. Like, I just like, showed the, the fuck back up and caused a ruckus. Um, <laughs> this is Philadelphia. No, no, no. Was it. I don't like Big Macs. I'm not a fan of Mac sauce. Realistically, I also hate lettuce on burgers. So Mac sauce is only Thousand Island dressing. Oh, All Mac sauce is Thousand Island dressing. I hate Thousand Island dressing. I don't. I, See, it makes sense then. When I think of a burger, makes sense, then. when I think of a burger, bun. You want salad dressing on it? Burger, ketchup, cheese, pickles. That's it. Simple. You're not the most flavorful, flavorful for person though. At this. All right, so I have so many questions just from this episode alone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> After dating your ex girlfriend, do you have a problem with wigs now? <laughs> I, I, I do. I do have a story though. I do have a story about, about, about that same person. Oh, man. So she worked at she worked at uh, Rite Aid. Oh. Um, she was she was the shift manager, and I worked at Cricket, and I was the uh, assistant manager. So at the time, we thought we was balling. Uh, <laughs> uh, so so one one Saturday, we said we, we was gonna go out to eat on, uh, that that night, but she wanted to buy a new wig, and I wanted to buy Grand Theft Auto. So and then uh, and, y'all had to compromise. So so in Northeast Philly, the the, the the shopping the shopping like mall thingy, uh, there was a, a GameStop and there was a, and there was a wig store on in the same Shit. lot. Shit. In the same in the same lot. So let's make a day out of it. I will get that photo, and she's going to buy her wig. I got get that photo. I knew I knew what I wanted. I got I was in out, fifteen minutes tops, right. We go into the goddamn wig store. The first wig took her an hour. An hour. I was so mad. I was so bored in that damn thing. Uh, it took her an hour to because she had to try it on, go in the back, try it on, make sure everything's showing like 17 wigs. So after that first hour, it's like, listen, I swear to goodness, I will buy you two wigs. And wigs are expensive as shit, too. But, but, but mind you. Anyway, but I said, listen, I'll buy you two wigs. If you come on, it took her another fucking hour to get the second wig. My movie choice <laughs> is Jackie Brown. And I'm going to try to make my explanation as clear and as short as possible. Pam Greer. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go wrong with Pam Greer. I, I don't know if she's, I, I don't remember if she showed titties in this, but, uh, but, uh, oh, wow.
that's really what you're thinking about. <laughs> If you, if you if you watch any old Pam Grier movies, that's what any, that's why any uh, I watched this whole movie waiting for titties. Yeah, my point is that that's why any male yeah. watch Pam Grier movies back in the eighties and the seventies where we came out. Uh, you watched them for her titties. You didn't watch them for her acting. She has some perfect breasts. Uh, They're beautiful. Oh Jesus! Whew. Love you, Pam Grier. Uh, one thing was that I'm sick and tired of movies with Samuel Jackson. I mean, I know I got wild hair too, but he, he yo, he picked some roles where his hair is all fucked up. <laughs> his fucking beard? Bro, his beard in this movie? That Jackson shit was beard. long as fuck. <laughs> while, Dre, while Dre was watching for Pam Greer's titties, possibly, I was watching for Samuel L. Jackson, Robert De Niro, Michael Keaton, fucking Robert Forster, and Chris Tucker. You think about so, titties? Eh. I, I we've talked about this. Pam Greer wasn't my cup of tea. We've talked about this. I've said I've said this it's before. So damn unseasoned, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Versus. My name is DeAndre Robinson. These are my friends. Say hello, friends. Hi, friends. This is Cam, aka Batman. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, my name is Evan Amataki, aka I'm Batman. It's your boy CJ, aka Dad Ass. <laughs> uh, other than that, you know, I, I got mad respect for Smoke. I like Smoke. Um, he was also my favorite character in Friday, but it's Smokey, not Smoke. So, <laughs> um, with that being said, um, I'm gonna respectfully pass it to the the woman of the podcast, Miss Miss Cam. I'm about to say, go ahead, DeAndre. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that's my bang bang. Oh. So oh, it's my turn, and I, I do have one honorable mention. One, oh, just, just one. You already uh, did like three, so you gonna add another one? I didn't right. say shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait, just wait until oh. me. Oh, I didn't say I didn't say smile much. Anyway, my honorable mention <laughs> is Johnny Cage, uh, and and <laughs> and people. <laughs> And people go hate me. Uh, no, I agree. Not, not the, uh, not the, not the game Johnny Cage, but the movie Johnny Cage. <laughs> <laughs> when he, when he, when he, when he's yeah, like, when he's fighting, crazy. when he's fighting girl, when he drops his. <laughs> <swing>. <laughs> 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 Liu Kang, you know, defender of the earth, beater of Shang Tsung, beater of Shao Kahn. Um, Got his ass whooped by his girlfriend, but whatever. Katana was a badass. Um, <laughs> I, I I do like Liu Kang. You telling me that you tell me that the Alexis can't beat your ass? No. <laughs> cut, cut that out. Cut, cut that out. <laughs> what is the last Mortal Kombat game you played, DeAndre? Uh, I won't say the last one actually. I played the last one. Uh, okay. A little bit. Eleven. Uh, yeah. Hold on. You want CJ I, I, is the last one you played in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, fucking. Yeah, I can't remember the last one. Damn, he just called you a dinosaur. You're gonna let Definitely it fly. Did. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think it's the best chocolate candy. No, uh, it is. Yeah, you know, it is. Uh, it's I. It's I. Right. You know, it's, it's not really the Rice crispy things is it. It's, like the, it's actually got toffee in it. Toffee, that's what it is. Yeah, it's toffee. So, so yeah, how's this supposed to be your favorite candy? You don't even know what's in it. Cause I just eat that shit. <laughs> um, if if 2020 could be described as a candy bar, it'd be Toblerone. <laughs> My candy is Mamba, because I love sweet, sh- sugary candy. Uh, plus, I don't really like things you. Yeah, I like things that are easily that are easily chewable. You can get through faster and get more. Oh, I'm that right has now. to be the oldest shit you said in your life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The what? No, oh, no, no. Go, go ahead. Oldest. It was an ageist joke. <laughs> he said you're old. Wow. <laughs> and, 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 it, and it kind of reminds me of a noun letter as well. Uh, stuff where like a mambo's paper does get stuck to the candy. Any now that you get, <laughs> any now that you get, that paper gets stuck to the candy. It doesn't matter. You, you, you eat some paper. <laughs> All right. So I'm but, not the only person that's surprised when the whole paper comes up. I'm like, oh, oh I'm, I am shocked. 
Oh, that's, a, that's Christmas oh. present right here. Yeah, they got cinnamon Jolly Ranchers, bro. They're terrible. I had one – true story. I had one once. I spit it out on the ground. I left it there for a day and a half, came back. A bunch of ants died around it. <laughs> this is probably literally – outside of uh, – um, candy canes. This is literally the most dangerous candy ever. That uh, shit gets sharp. Yeah, if, if you suck down a, a, a Jolly Rancher uh, <laughs> to to where you get fucking sharp, you can shake somebody. Like, like you, you can you can you can, you can, you can kill that motherfucker. <laughs> you can fuck somebody up. I first like to say that. Evan's response is it was it, that was a lot. <laughs> like, but I am a lot. Time, you're also the person who like could eat a hot taki. If you can't eat a taki, you can't eat a sour skittle. You ain't got what it takes. That's not their fault. <laughs> uh, the only bad thing I have for uh, Murder of the Titans is that it was a Disney movie. And, and a lot of people don't, don't, don't remember that it was a Disney movie. I'd rather this movie be an R-rated movie. I want, I want, I want it real. Like, like, like me, the, the all, all the John Brown hand, high parts and and, and all, all that kind of no fuck that. I, 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 I listen. I would love people. Very <laughs> gonna laugh, but I would love if Quentin Tarantino did this fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love Morgan Freeman. And p- people say that, th- that this is his best movie he did. I don't know about that because Lean On Me was amazing. Uh, but He played God and Bruce Almighty, too. That was great. Was a, so you tell me that him playing <laughs> no, no offense to God. <laughs> of all the Denzel movies, you Bruce Almighty. Denzel? <laughs> but, 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 uh, Not even Morgan Freeman. Freeman of all the things Morgan you Freeman. Pick, we heard this a so long. You, you, like, 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 you, you pick yeah. Bruce Almighty over Lean On Me? When I th- when I think of God, I picture Morgan Freeman. I used to get an argument with, with people about Twilight versus True Blood because technically, <laughs> technically it was it was the same kind of it was the same kind of fucking uh, a vampire. The, 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 the most of it was kind of these flamboyant, flamboyant uh, vampires that. Sookies. But but, I, but I, however, I mean, True Blood was was basically softcore porn. Uh, I do miss the the old school werewolves and and, and vampires, especially especially Bla- Blackula. I'm a big fan of Blackula. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, and even nowadays, I base my movies on how attractive the cast is, male That's or female. Up. That's up. That's not, re- up. not really, not really. <laughs> I judge a book by its cover. Johnny goes, that's fucked up. Hey. Johnny goes, not really. <laughs> if the picture on the cover of the book gets my attention, I will want to read the book. Because <laughs> Potter was dominating everything in terms of like books being made into movies. You know, and then, all, you know, Twilight came out and you got all these girls like, oh, I'm Team Edward or I'm Team Jacob. I'm like, what about Team Evan? I'm lonely. <laughs> <laughs> No, I read text so messages and Twitter. Read books, right? Uh, I read like a chapter and a half. Realistically, no, that's not how it works. Nope. This is nope. you, you're you're a cover guy, so I understand. But like, I'm sorry, so, it's actually Maybelline. I can tell by your, I can tell by you guys' uh, response. You guys' is, ooh, English. I can tell by your responses that you guys didn't read the books. Why well, read a book when there's a movie? Exactly. Y'all, that, that's one literally one of the dumbest responses ever from both of y'all. And then when it gets to that cold ass water, what what when people people kids they, they, they couldn't fit. They could have both fit on that on, on that door. If I couldn't fit in that door, she would have fucking died. She would have she would have died. <laughs> she she would have fucking died. Okay. And in in the, in the irony of this fucking movie, he's dead, frozen solid. She says. I never let go, Jack. I never let go. And then drops him. I then drops him. I don't know. I don't know because we're beautiful or something like that. But that's that's some bullshit. I don't see never let go, and then you drop him. Like 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 you don't know if 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 if, if, if uh, 
uh, if he if, if he could do some like some Walt Disney shit and then Frozen and then you hear him back up and he came back alive. You don't you don't know. And the last thing, right? The reason for this three hour fucking movie was because they were trying to find that blue crystal uh, jewelry jewel thing that she the had. heart of the sea. Yeah, what what that shit was. And she said that it was it was down there in 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 the, in the, in the rubble and other kind of bullshit. This bitch had it the whole fucking time. You wasted three hours. You wasted three hours of my life. You liar, bitch! Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking goodness! Oh my god! <laughs> like, like you, you wasted three hours of my life because you want to fucking lie. Fuck you! Oh god, damn! I hate this movie. In, in, you know, in her defense, in her defense, that's not true. It's that guy's fault. He never asked. Do you have it? When was the last time you seen it? He just, assumed, he just assumed she didn't have it. Like, she was like, oh, it went down with the shit. He never straight up asked her, and she didn't respond. Like,